Oh, well, wait, what if I do that and then I just... <laughs> you might have found woman when you back that thing up. Oh, Paige. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be getting into the newest launches from Cover FX. We have their Luminous Tinted Moisturizer, which, of course, we're going to be doing a first impressions and a wear test on. But then I also picked up their newest um, brush as well. This is their new custom application brush. Normally, when it comes down to brushes like this, I'm not that interested. I just kind of always, you know, assume they're a gimmick and move on with my life. But for some reason, when I saw this one launch, I was really intrigued by it. And I don't know if it just, like, caught me on a special kind of day. I <laughs> I'm really, I'm not sure what cosmic shift we were in, but uh, moral of the story, we picked up the tinted moisturizer, we picked up the new brush, and I thought it would make a fun video. Obviously, we're going to zoom it in, test it out. Now, before we get into the makeup and application, I do want to pause really quickly and let you guys know, of course, if you are new here, my name is Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I normally put up three new videos a week, so feel free to subscribe before you leave. Um, they typically go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So if you're someone that likes to have early content, Content, you know, something that you can watch before work, before school, before whatever. Um, I'm your girl. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And then, guys, I think it's just time that we have a really quick talk, okay? I want you <laughs> to follow me on Instagram. And I say this in every video, you know, Instagram and Twitter, they'll be linked down below. I'm more active on Instagram, blah, 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 okay? But, like, I really, <laughs> I really want you to follow me on Instagram. Do you see me? Like, we're right here right now. Follow me on Instagram, you guys. I, <laughs> I am loving Instagram. I don't know what is going on. Um, like, my absence from YouTube. YouTube because of everything that's going on in my life. My upload schedule has been a bit sporadic, but I have just been so excited and so like rejuvenated on Instagram and I've been doing IGTV videos plus size fashion. But one of the things I've really been enjoying is testing out makeup over there um, that you guys haven't seen here. Like it's just, it's brand new and I haven't had a chance to film with it for the channel, but I've still wanted to incorporate it and show you guys like looks or whatever on the Instagram. And the newest one that I just put up, uh, I want to say it's probably been a day or two ago when you guys are watching this, but I put up a video featuring the new mascara from Pat McGrath. This is the new Dark Star mascara. And you guys, Mama McGrath, Mama McGrath herself commented on my video. She commented on my video. And I... Like, I'm dead. I was deceased. I was so excited. And let me just explain, okay, the significance here, because I have uploaded so many things, and I mean so many things, to Instagram that have tagged Pat McGrath in them. And, you know, obviously, like, thousands upon thousands of people are doing it every single day, so, she, you know, she doesn't see them all. Um, and to get my video, like, to, to know that my video was seen by, like, the Pat McGrath, the Mama McGrath, the MG. And honestly, I could be the only person that cares about this. I could be the only person that's excited. Um, um, but I mean, I'm, I'm obviously hoping that some of you guys will be excited as well, but I'm just, I, I don't, I don't know what it is about Instagram. I just feel so awake and like alive, rejuvenated, and I want you guys to follow me on Instagram. And also, by the way, by the way, can we just talk about Little Miss Teresa? Little Miss Teresa is dead. Can we talk about that bitch? Because she is very much alive and she just, <laughs> sorry, I just got very excited. She just got, you know, the hard part about my voice is that you can't tell if I'm angry or excited. Like <laughs> you just, you can't tell sometimes, but she just hit 10,000 on Instagram. Instagram, okay, because she's a fucking bitch-ass woman, right? and she's just, like, taking the life by storm. She's grabbing it by the balls and just whipping it around like it's a lasso, but <laughs> I digress. But she just hit 10,000 on Instagram, and do you know what she now has that I am so jealous of? She has the swipe up feature, and I know what you're thinking, okay? You're like, oh, it's not, it's like not that big of a deal. It is a big deal, okay? I want the swipe up feature so bad. I want to be able to link my earrings. I want to be able to link my rings, my clothes, my everything. I want to be able to link things. And you know what? Some of you will have just sat here, and you will have sat through this entire 10 minute dissertation on why you should follow me on Instagram, and you're still not going to do it. And you know what? That's your choice. Um, it's very, very hurtful, but um, it's your choice. It's your decision. It's your call. If you really honestly want to hurt me like that, which I don't know why you would, but if you do, that's your choice. Anyways, now that you've sat through my sales pitch, you've sat through everything I have to say, let's go ahead, let's zoom the camera in and let's get started, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> That's about seven too many okays, Paige. Woo! All right, you guys, so we're good and zoomed in, and before we get moving too far into the tinted moisturizer, I am gonna stop and prime super quickly with a little bit of my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. And then while that's soaking in, we're gonna do a little reading about the tinted moisturizer. So I'm on the Ulta.com website, and this retails for $39. You get one full fluid ounce. It comes in four shades, um, which I, of the four shades, picked up Fair Light. So I gotta be honest, the shade range for this did kind of throw me off. I 
I just, I understand having less shades because it's a tinted product, but I didn't see it being that much less. And down in the description, just to give you guys like a summary of what you're looking at, because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not about ready to read you guys three paragraphs. Uh, but the idea is that this is going to help smooth and give you a brighter, smooth out and give you a brighter complexion because it has a pre and probiotics in it. And it also has um, some things in it that they call them anti-stress adapters. There's ginseng, resurrection plant, which to me sounds a lot like the resurrection stone from Harry Potter. I'm just, just throwing it out there. And then in terms of application, it says that you can wear this alone for a radiant, no makeup makeup look, or you can follow it up with foundation for more coverage, or as a third option, you can use their new custom application brush here. And this will allow you to create your own uniquely beautiful formula. And because of all this, it is ideal for all skin types. And then I figured since how we're already up close, we would do a little talking here on the brush itself. So this is what you're getting as far as the component goes. It appears to be more of just like a standard flat top kabuki. The handle is very nice, super sleek, and it's actually nice and weighted. It feels really good. Like it feels good to hold. But this is what they're saying makes this more customizable. If you guys can see that, I think you can see it on camera, but it does have these three little holes right here. And those holes are actually little wells where you're supposed to deposit product. And if you can see, which I'm going to, okay, so you can see the holes right here. And then if you fold them down, that well is actually not like a, um, a packed down amount of bristles, actually more of like a rubber tube, which again, I think you guys can see that right there. And the idea is that you're going to be able to drop product in each of these, which we'll get into that in a second. And then as you kind of buff it into your skin, it will mix them for you and do like a buffing and coverage and all of that all in one step. And then as far as the info for this on the Ulta website, it says it retails for $39. It is an innovative, vegan and cruelty-free brush uniquely designed with three wells so you can effortlessly mix your makeup and skincare products for a flawless finish. And as far as the like, specific instructions on the box, it says choose up to three Cover FX liquid skincare and or makeup products. Add one to three drops of each product per well. Do not add multiple items to the same well, meaning like don't mix, you know, put a primer and foundation in one. Um, they want them to stay separate. That way when you mix them, they buff into your skin together. And then from there, once you have all the wells filled up, you're just supposed to buff it in and I guess it's supposed to work and mix everything together. I don't know. We're doing this, you know, we're, we're doing this together at this point because um, to me, I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical. I'm not going to lie, but at the same time, this brush does feel really, really good. So let's go ahead. I think we've done enough talking. Um, let's go ahead and open up the um, actual tinted moisturizer here, which as I said before, I have this in the shade Fair Light and we're gonna give it a good old mix and see what we're working with in terms of color. Okay, so this is like really light. I didn't think it was gonna be this light. Oh, 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 this is this is gonna be painful. Okay, um, again, when you're only working with four shades, I would never in a million years dream that my pasty ass would be the second shade um, because I'm literally see-through pasty white. I think to start off, I wanna give this a try just by itself. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this makeup um, and I'm just gonna squirt it into the well here. And I'm gonna put it in two out of the three wells because I don't wanna go in with too much, but I also don't wanna, you know, try to buff air into my skin. So we're gonna start with, like I said, just this much and start kinda working it out. Okay, so yeah, very light, obviously, but also where did it go? Like when I go in with a tinted moisturizer, there is at least a tint to it. I feel like you should at least be able to see a little bit and you literally can't even tell I put anything on, can you? Like, at all. Not even in, like, a bad way. <laughs> like, oh, wow, you look like a Caspery ghost. You just, you can't see it at all. Okay, let's try this a different way, guys. I'm, I'm kind of thinking on my feet, but I came up with an idea, and I actually think it's very good, and it's something, <laughs> listen to me, I'm like, it's something, it's so good. I'm such a great idea person. Um, but it, I think this would actually be very practical. So let's say this right here, I'm going to say it has basically no coverage, like .0001 a percent of coverage. There's just, there's nothing there. But what about, and I know I'm not the only one, um, I'm the type of person that I like to have a tinted moisturizer and I like to have a really good full coverage foundation. And I like to mix the two in varying amounts to be either full coverage, light coverage, or anywhere in between. And I'm thinking, just again, thinking out loud here, I'm wondering if we could test this and this brush with that kind of a concept. So I think the way we're going to do this is to take this, um, again, the, the tinted stuff from cover FX and I'm gonna fill again two wells 
on the brush, boom and boom, which right here. And then for the third well, we're gonna go in with one of my other favorite mix-in products of all time. This is the Catrice HD Full Coverage. And we're just gonna take this very, very full coverage liquid foundation, and we're gonna drop that in the third well. And this right here is gonna be our combination, and we will see if we can use the Cover FX as not only a good mix-in, but a good way to take like a super glam, super full coverage foundation and bring it down to more of just like a light, playful type foundation. Gotta be honest, the fact that it says in their description um, to go ahead and add a foundation on top kind of gives me a vibe with this one that it's like, it's just meant to be a smoothing or a, like a pretty complexion product in general. It's not really just supposed to be a tinted moisturizer because like if you think about it, I have other, you know, tinted products, whatever, and they say to just like buff it into the skin and build as desired. They don't say go ahead and put foundation over top of it and use it as a primer. And like to me, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of standing out in a weird way in that respect. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I zoomed you in obnoxiously far. Hello, hi, I hope you hope you really like the close up. But I wanted to give you guys as much information as possible, and I think that being, you know, very, very close is the best way to do that. So on this side, we have the tinted moisturizer mixed with the cover FX, and you can still see, like, I've got hyperpigmentation, I have redness coming through, and it's definitely taken, like, it's done a very nice job of taking the Catrice and really dulling it down in terms of coverage uh, just because by itself that Catrice is very very full coverage and so so I like that I like the fact that it did bring it down it adjusted it and also the Catrice foundation on its own does pull a little bit more matte and you can definitely see that the uh, the cover FX is giving it more of like a hydrated look on the skin and so that that's also really positive you know it's adjusting well and it's giving me more of like that luminosity to the skin so 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 far so good on that side but then I also wanted it to give you the juxtaposition of that up against the other side where it is just the um, just the tinted moisturizer by itself and I don't know how well you can see it on camera because these lights do tend to wash things out but right here you can see every single dot of hyperpigmentation I've ever had in my entire life like all the way through this cheek it's there all the way up on my forehead um, it just there's absolutely no coverage on this side nothing is covered and the one thing I don't want to do because on camera again it's more flattering I don't want you you guys to look at it and be like oh well they look the same so I, I wanted to bring you in as close as possible in an effort to explain like no <laughs> they are definitely not um, this one is sitting at virtually no coverage and this one is sitting at what I would say is a very light light kind of coverage now obviously at this point we are reviewing two items right we have the tinted moisturizer which we just covered but then I also want to make sure that I take time to touch on this brush because the biggest issue I'm having with this and I think ultimately the reason I wouldn't recommend it is that the bristles on this get very easily um, like waterlogged. They get very clumpy very quick, if you will. It's nice, it's soft, like the quality of the brush feels good. That doesn't spread as easily um, when you go to do like the second side versus the first. It just, it doesn't work as well, in my opinion. So for me, this is a no. What I'd like to do from here, just to go over the side that has no coverage, is I want to go in with a little bit of my Catrice HD, and I'm just gonna take a touch of it here on my sponge. This is a Kaleido sponge. And I'm gonna take and just ever so gently, I almost applied it to the other side, and I'm just gonna take and build up some of this just to kind of even out the two sides and kind of show you the difference between, like that was, the before was the cheek with no coverage, and now look at it like layered over top like just that much just a little bit working into the skin and you can already see that things look better it looks more full and it just the other one because it had no no pigment at all to carry it through it was just looking really weird this side actually looks really beautiful just layered over top like look at that I actually, oh wow, I really, okay, I like that quite a bit. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna say that we're actually testing this tinted moisturizer in every single possible way, because if you think about it, they said that you can use it by itself, which we, you know, we did, we talked about how that looks, just as a glowy, no makeup, makeup, whatever. Um, then we mixed it with another one in the same well to create a less coverage look, which we did over here. And then finally, the other, the last way that they said you could use it is to apply foundation over top of it and use it more as like a radiant, um, or a hydrating base, which is now what we have over here. I have to say, after doing it all three ways and really testing the foundation for like, you know, all the options that it has, I do think the best way, um, the, like the best way that it looks on the skin is 
the it as more of like a primer roll and then putting the foundation over top of it because I feel like that's the side that looks the smoothest. It does look the most hydrating, but it doesn't look overly worked. This is this side where I feel like right through here, it's, it, don't get me wrong, it's not awful and I don't even think you can see it on camera, but I am noticing just a little touch more breakage or like break apart um, between the products over my textured area right here that I'm not seeing on this side. So at this point, I would have to say I'm leaning more towards, you know, it's more of like a hydrating primer kind of feel. So at this point, I'm just going on, um, just to continue here, I'm taking a little bit of my Hourglass Concealer and I'm working that um, onto the under eyes and through the T-zone. And then with that, I'm just gonna layer up a little bit of my CoverGirl concealer. This is in the shade L100. And then from here, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fenty setting powder. This is in the shade Butter. And I'm gonna do this uh, on the under eyes and through the T-zone as well. Now, just real talk for a second, guys. I am kind of bummed out because truthfully, as a tint, like I'm a tinted moisturizer lover, I, as I've already said, I wear them a lot. I think they're great. But I'm really bummed out about this one because I feel like, and this needs to be said too, okay tinted products will vary heavily from person to person based on their skin based on personal experience um for me for example i'm a th i'm 30 years old so my skin's already seen some shit and on top of that you know i do have cystic acne i do have a lot of redness and a lot of acne scarring and you know there, there's a lot of factors at play that make things work or not work for other people and it is important to keep that in mind but ultimately for me what bums me out is that this as a tinted moisturizer doesn't even work on like the lightest of light pigmented areas. Don't get me wrong, you know, this could work for you if you are someone that has really nice skin, you don't have hyperpigmentation, you don't have acne, um, and you're just looking for like a nice way to even everything out. This really could work for you. Like I would never, you know, I would never take that away. And then just to set the rest of the face, I'm going in with a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way powder. This is in the shade Cloud. And I guess the main point in where I was going with all of that is for me, for this product already, again, without having wear tested it, I do think there's going to be a lot to be said for your skin type and really evaluating that part of it before you pick up a product like this because I just think for what you're getting, you're really going to need to examine, you know, why you're picking it up and what it's for because if it's me and I'm picking it up as a tinted moisturizer, I wouldn't pick this up because it's just, it's not tinted enough to matter. But in terms of, you know, the hydration or how it looked on the skin or even using it as a primer, which we're going to kind of get a look at that today. You know, there are other facets to it, which is cool. At the flip side, you just have to keep everything in perspective. And that's kind of my, my whole point here. All right. So with everything applied, this is where we're at just with powder products so far. Um, I think it looks pretty good over the cheeks. I do still prefer the side where I layered the foundation over top of it. So at this point, I am liking it more as like a primer than I am as a mix in foundation. Again, just personal preference, but this side looks a little bit smoother to me. And overall, it's just, it's settling down better. And then also, I don't know how well you can see it, but on like the nose area right up through here, it's super broken on both sides. And then also something I want to mention, I went ahead and obviously zoomed the camera out, but isn't it crazy? Like on camera, I've been pulling very, very light lately. Like my skin's been looking very pasty because naturally I'm super pasty. All of my foundations are pastier. So I've been having to really like work with them to make them, you know, look my actual skin tone right now. But I feel like there's something about this tinted moisturizer that is kind of warming up to my skin because between that and the foundation, I just feel like things are melding and I have on no other sculpting products and I just, I don't know, I feel like it looks pretty good. Like, yes, it, it's light obviously, but it doesn't look nearly as bad as it has in the past at least not to me, like I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. But anyways, at this point, here's how this is gonna go down. So I'm gonna run off of camera and I'm going to be testing out some new makeup. I'm gonna be doing another video, which you will see very soon. So I'm gonna go ahead, run off of camera, do that, and I will be right back. And all right, beautiful people, with that, the rest of the face is on and complete. And let me just tell you, okay, <laughs> this day has been ridiculous in terms of everything, like trying to film. The dog has been having all kinds of issues, not pretty issues, might I add. And I feel like today, as I was editing, it like it could not have been a more accurate day to try to test something. And so with all of that being said, guys, I have been wearing like this base of makeup, this foundation situation for about six hours at this point. And here's what kills me. Like I can tell you right now, I can give you my final thoughts. I have an up close, we can do all of that. But I think what bothers me the most 
post about this, which actually, you know what, let's, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the up close, and I don't know how well it's gonna show you what I'm trying to convey, so I'm gonna get pretty specific, but I think the thing that bothers me the most with this foundation and what really gets on my nerves is that it took the, this tinted moisturizer, even using it as a base, it took a foundation, my Catrice, my beloved Catrice HD Full Coverage, and it took that foundation and made it look so ugly on my skin like it looks so like settled and cracky and it looks like oily but not in like a, oh I'm naturally you know combo leaning oily kind of way oh no oh, no no this looks like like the weird kind of oil that somehow is like breaking things apart but it's very clearly not like my skin producing the oil and I'm not even talking just so just like for a point of clarification like right through here I have laugh lines okay I'm not talking about that okay Th those those are there no matter what I laugh I talk I never stop and it doesn't bother me to have those but when my whole crinkle up through here like this this big Bertha right here when she is creased all to hell within the first like hour of me wearing a foundation that is a problem and it's not normally a problem I face with this foundation. Even worse than that, okay? Even worse than a big ass wrinkle on my forehead. Let's just talk about the fact that my nose and like all around here literally looks like the surface of the moon, okay? It looks so cratered and so pitted and like every single pore, it's oh my god like it's just egregious to me and again these are things I don't think you can see on camera which is why I'm being so obnoxiously specific now something that I also want to point out to just in terms of like texture and, and hydration and all of those things um because obviously I'm combo leaning oily but I do use products that are geared just like this every single day I use them I love them and I am very familiar with them that's part of the reason that I like having a channel and I like experimenting with other things um just so that way I can tell you guys regardless of skin type Kind of all the information and with this one to me like if i were to put this over here i would say the exact polar opposite in in my opinion again just just kind of my thoughts this is the exact polar opposite of the color pop hyaluronic skin tint I, like in almost every way like this one is so thick and and i don't know if i talked about the like the texture of it when i was applying it earlier today but the texture of this it's so thick and it's almost got like a thick goopy tacky feeling to it and i just like that that texture for me just on its face just doesn't work I don't like it um, just that's a personal opinion which is why I try not to you know be overly assertive with it but I just don't like that and like the ColourPop one is so thin and it's lightweight there are people that don't like that texture as well which is kind of why I'm giving the pro con if you're used to that one um, just texturally though they are very very different so that's thing number one to consider thing number two that I want to mention in terms of the hydration and like the luminosity I feel like the ColourPop one the way that it delivers that hydration it looks more, and this is going to be a really weird way to explain it, so I hope it comes across correctly, but the one from ColourPop gives you, it's a hyaluronic tinted moisturizer, so it really gives you that hyaluronic acid, and I feel like it just looks so much more like like a thin kind of juicy on the face, if that makes sense. Like, it looks like, like your face is just bursting with water and, like, that type of supple. Versus with this one, I feel like I'm getting more of, like, a like a thickness, almost like an oily kind of hydration. Like, the difference between using, um, like, a water gel and a thick cream, the, the difference there when you're using something Something that's more oil based versus something that is more hyaluronic acid or water based or gel based um, that just has like a thinner consistency that really settles into the skin and with this one I feel like it's not that at all I feel like it is the kind of hydration that more so sits on your skin and just gives you kind of like a, an oily hydration is all I can think of it in that sense um, and, and again I don't know if that helps anybody that's kind of how I make sense of it in my mind um, but for me overall like this to me it's just a pass I don't like it I don't like anything about it from the coverage, the consistency. I really am not even a fan of the shade range the more that I think about it. And I just, I, I don't know. For me, this is just a pass on every level, as is the brush. Of course, I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think? Do you think that this is worth looking at? Were you curious about it? Are you going to pick it up? Did you try it? Do you love it? Um, all your thoughts and opinions down below. Of course, as I said at the beginning of the video, please don't forget you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked down below. Uh, you can subscribe here before you leave. Again, normally two to three videos a week, right? Right now god only knows what you're getting but uh we're working on it there's content and i just love hanging out with you guys uh so subscribe turn on your post notifications and thank you guys all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye all right <clears throat> okay wow <clears throat> oh my god what <laughs> <laughs> so annoyed all the time. We can have a sale some fun. Yeah.
let's go together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we scooch ourselves up. <laughs> what was that laugh? But of the little. Okay. But of course, before we do that, I want to take a really quick. <laughs> Sorry, I just. Oh my god. You ever see yourself do it, but like you, you do something stupid, and then it takes like there's a little bit of a lag time to realize how dumb you are. Just I had another one of those moments. I've having a lot of those moments lately. <sighs> oh boy, that's. It's quite a mess you have there, Paige. Oh, is anybody surprised? Uh, no, they are not. Can I just squish it all? Like, what, what do we think? What do we think the odds are? I could just, you know, push it all over there. You know, like maybe I could push it. <laughs> push it real good. <laughs> oh my God, the dad jokes kill me. Why is it just so messy? Because you're messy, Paige. Oh wait, what if I do that and then I just... <laughs> you might have found woman when you back that thing up. Oh, Paige. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a review and wear test. <laughs> I felt like a sucker mom. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, little, little Johnny's going pro. Oh, Paige. 